Memory cards are cheaper and cheaper every day, so I decided to make an update. Um, that's why I decided to buy a 520 gigabytes um, memory card, a micro SD. Basically, uh, these are some uh, some other cards that I have to 256, uh, 200, 128, 256 again. So I use a lot uh, these uh, these cards, but now. I said why not uh, 520 uh, gigabytes uh, it has a very good price and basically um, it's very important because it has this class this U3 um, I know let's discuss one minute about these specifications because they are very important when you choose an SD card uh, for example if you use um, a good camera I will advise you to buy something with this uh, this tree U3 uh, for example if you use something like this you will need definitely uh, this type of cards U3 and not this one immediately this is an uh, U3 for example and this one it it has class U one uh, look here well basically when you see this uh, class 10 you will have a standard 10 megabytes writing speed but when you have this u3 it's another level and you will have a minimum uh, 30 megabytes per second basically what you see here one or three or more you will multiply it with 10 so if we have here three we will have um, a minimum writing speed of three uh, 30 megabytes per second but this uh, this card it will be able to write with 80 megabytes per second so it's very important it depending on each um, manufacturer uh, what is the maximum speed or the constant speed so for example I have this uh, Samsung and this uh, SanDisk and they will both write with 80 megabytes per second whatever I do but uh, you will need also a very good device to, to reach these speeds that's why I said if you have a very good camera you will need for example for uh, 4k footages this uh, this type of cards with uh, 80 megabytes per second because it's very important to get a smooth video on your card uh, also I have some cards that uh, they will write only with 30 megabytes or for example these uh, these cards with 7 8 megabytes per second because they are class 10 and with class 10 you will get a 10 megabytes per second basically you'll have 7 8 megabytes in real usage but don't expect with this type of cards to reach 80 megabytes per second writing speed if you don't have a powerful device for example in your laptop you'll need an uh, uh, USB type C a card reader uh, also you will need a powerful device a powerful smartphone otherwise you won't feel that speed I will test this I will make some test with uh, with uh, the writing speeds and I will post them immediately here.